Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Ash and I make Final Fantasy tutorials and how to's for adventures across Eorzea. Today I want to talk about the current way to gear your level 80 characters with the current end game cap. From here on out I will let you know the best, easiest way to gear your jobs with each new patch and cap for casual players and beginners. So if you'd like to stay up to date with gearing then make sure to boop that subscribe button down below. This guide is going to be geared toward beginners who have a fresh level 80 job or maybe a second alt job that they'd like to gear. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. If you really don't want to work or think at all, then the new dungeon will drop item level 505 gear. Just keep running this until you get all your pieces. This is truly for the casual player. This next way can also be farmed which are the Eden Promise Raids which will drop turn-ins which then can be used to purchase item level 510 gear. Better options out there, but just mentioning these so you can start learning different methods of gaining gear. The more familiar ones is item level 510 gear, which is the Exarch gear. There is no need to really shoot for this gear though, as we have augmented item level 520 Exarch gear, which is the exact same thing, just better. You can get the item level 510 by either crafting or purchasing from the market board, which we'll come back to a little later. Now that we covered some past gear, what you really should be shooting for is the new item level 520 augmented Exarch gear. You will need to obtain item level 510 Exarch gear and some allegory tombstones. Again, you can obtain Exarch gear one of two ways. You can craft it with the appropriate crafter to make a piece of Exarch gear, or you can just simply buy it from the market board. I want to make a special note here for the players who might have one or two crafters fully maxed out. You can simply just keep crafting the same Exarch gear to turn in high quality if you can manage over and over in order to get the certificates you need. You don't need all crafters maxed out, just one. But of course, it will make your life considerably easier if you do have more than one maxed out. Normal quality Exarch gear will give you less tokens than high quality, but just find the cheapest of either in order to get to the next step. Once you have obtained a piece of Exarch gear, you can turn those in to the Yulmore Vendor Gear Exchange. You will get Yulmore Certificates of Grandeur. The next step will be to farm Allegory Tombstones. You might just have a buildup of Allegory Tombstones from just playing. You can also obtain these by doing your duty roulettes with your level 80 job. If you do every single roulette in one day, this will net you about 700 to 900 Allegory Tombstones. You can also get Allegory Tombstones by doing hunts, level 80 raids, trials, and treasure hunts. Once you have 100, hopefully more, you'll then return to the Umor vendor and click on rain exchange. You will need a hundred to get one and it will take about two to seven crystalline rains, which is the turn in per piece. Luckily though, you can keep farming the allegory tombstones as long as you keep spending them before you hit the 2000 cap. Not only is this where you buy your armor and your accessories, you can also get a 520 augmented Exarch weapon from here as well. This is the way that I'm leveling my alt jobs in order to make them playable for the new content while focusing on this next way I'm about to go over for my main job. This next way is a little bit more time gated which means you should start now or should have already started. This method is to receive augmented Crypt Lurkers gear. You will first need to cap out on your tombstones of revelation each week. Once you get enough over a few weeks, you can start purchasing your item level 520 revelations gear, which is nothing to scoff at and you can totally stop here. The reason this is slightly better than getting the item level 520 gear from the Exarch as of right now, the revelations gear or crypt lurkers gear, you can augment up to item level 530, which is the highest level in the game right now. If you want to work on augmenting them, then let's go over the materials you need. There is a difference in materials needed for the next step, so follow along as well it does take a little bit of time. A really cool note is you're able to actually augment your gear as a casual player. In order to augment your weapon to 530, you will need to do endgame content. Since this is a guide geared towards beginners, I will only talk about obtaining the gear and accessories and obtaining a base item level 520 Crypt Lurkers weapon. In order to augment your Crypt Lurkers gear, you will need Crypt Twine or Dusting. You can receive this two different ways. 
One, by turning in three different tokens. These three tokens are obtained by all three near Automata raids, Copied Factory, Puppets Bunker, and the new Tower raid. The token from the last raid is time gated, which means you can only get one a week. Once you have all three tokens, you can turn those in for Crypt Twine dusting. With this in hand, you can go to the vendor and turn in your Twine and Crypt Lurkers gear in order to get your item level 530 augmented Crypt Lurkers gear. This does take a little bit of time as each of the raids might have a timer to get in so you won't instantly queue as well as just kind of long raids. So this is why you want to start as early as possible. The second way to get the Crypt Twine or Dusting is doing hunts for a sack of nuts. You get these by doing hunt trains and there's many different discords out there announcing hunt trains or you could happen to be near when one goes off. You will need 2,000 to 3,000 sack of nuts for one crypt dusting twine. Again, this is just an alternative if you don't like doing the near raids. I myself don't really focus on hunts, but I do know a lot of players who love doing this. Just pick your poison, I guess. The last way of obtaining item level 520 gear is a new near raid, which is the Tower of Paradigm Breach. The gear here is gated as well with only being able to pick up one to three a week. Not my first choice, but an option for you. Okay, so let's talk about getting your weapon. You can still get the item level 520 augmented Exarch weapon. Fairly easy to do and might be your first choice. In order to get your item level 520 Crip Lurker weapon, which can be upgraded to 530 in the future or now if you do Savage content, you will need one defragmented tombstone and 700 tombstones of revelation. You get the defragmented tombstone by Eden's Promise Eternity Raid normal mode. It will then drop a blade of lost antiquity to which now you only need four to get one defragmented tombstone. You can still only get one blade a week. Good news is, if you have been doing this raid since its inception, then you probably have a good amount of these kind of built up already. Honorable mention is the new diamond raid that will give you an item level 525 So if you can jump into the extreme version and you get the drop for your main character or main job then great job Let me just take a moment to welcome those new players to the end game grind of Final Fantasy 14 This is really the best part also not including literally the million other things that you can be working on as well I want to thank you guys for watching to the end. If you like these videos, leave a comment down below of what else you'd like me to cover. I'd like to thank this user for his comments and for recommending me to create this video. I hope you guys all have a great week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.